Hello art friends, this is Shauna Tenney and I'm an illustrator. You can find my website at shaunajctenney.com where you can see my artwork and you can find more industry tips and tutorials on my blog which is shaunajctenney.blogspot.com. I'm here today with a tutorial on how to take your pencil drawings and put them on their own layer in Photoshop so you can paint under your original sketch and keep the energy of your original sketch in your digital painting. I'm working today with a character sketch I've done for a project I'm working on and I've already scanned it into my computer. Then I'm going to go to the image menu, adjustments and curves. Then I'm going to fix the curves so there's a higher contrast. Then I'm going to click on the channels menu and click on that little dotted circle that selects the channels. Then I'm going to go to the select menu and select the inverse. That makes it so just your lines are selected. Then you're going to go to your Layers menu and make a new layer. Then go up to your Swatches palette and choose a color. I usually use black. Then click Option plus Delete and this will fill in the area that is selected with black on your new layer. Now make a new layer in between your two layers. And click Command D to deselect. Then click Command A to select all. Go back to your swatches and select white. Then click Alt Delete and it will fill in with white. Now your sketch is on its own layer and you have a white background on another layer behind it. Now you can make your painting layers over your white layer. You can make however many you need. For this demo I'm just using one. Now name your layers. and you can start painting on the painting layer. As you can see, my sketch is not being painted on since the painting layer is underneath the sketch layer, which is great. Now go to your Lines palette and click on that little checkerboard symbol that locks the layer. Then go up to your Brush menu and make sure that there are no textures on your brush. Then what I do is I select one of the darkest colors in the object. Then I go to my Color palette and I make an even darker color. And this will be the color of my outline. I turn my opacity up to 10 on my brush and then I just start painting over and as you can see it makes it so you are only painting on the lines. And I vary my color a bit depending on if there's lights or dark areas. And if you turn the other layers off you can see we've changed the color of the lines. So what I like to do after that is make an additional layer on top of the lines layer and then just start painting over that and then you can finish up your painting like that kind of leaving where the lines are or painting over them whatever you feel like
And that's how you do it, my friends. I hope you go and try this, and I hope this was helpful for you. And come visit me at my website, which is shaunajctenney.com. And come visit me at my blog, which is shaunajctenney.blogspot.com, where you can find more industry tips and tutorials.